Top story this morning is about the searing California wildfires which have killed at least 33 people and forced thousands from their homes. Now, U.S. President Donald Trump attended a briefing with California officials on Monday over the same concerns, while researchers have been stressing on how climate change is a key factor in increasing the risk and the extent of these wildfires in the western United States areas. In the Sacramento briefing, Donald Trump blamed poor forest management for these fires. Trump said that he thinks that a lot of things are possible. But he says when it comes to the forest, down trees and dried leaves on the ground eventually just explode. That is what the U.S. president says on the subject of the wildfires raging across the U.S. West Coast. When trees fall down after a short period of time, about 18 months, they become very dry. They become really like a matchstick. And they get up, you know, there's no more water pouring through. And they become very, very, uh, they just explode. They can explode. Also, leaves. When you have years of leaves, dried leaves on the ground, it just sets it up. It's really a fuel for a fire. The number of large fires between 1984 and 2015 in the western U.S. have now doubled. The wildfire risk depends on a number of factors, including temperature, soil moisture and the presence of trees, shrubs and other potential fuel. All these factors have strong direct or indirect ties to climate variability and climate change. And that's what causes forest fuels to be more dry. Now during the meeting on the wildfires, California's governor Gavin Newsom accepted that his state can do a better job of forest management. But he told President Trump that it is self-evident that climate change is real and that is exacerbating this issue. But Donald Trump retorted that it'll start getting cooler and that science doesn't know the cause of this. It'll start getting cooler. I you, wish just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> hey, well, I don't think science knows, actually. The Secretary of the California Natural Resources Agency, Wade Crawford, argued that it is important for the President of the United States to recognize the change in climate. Because if science is ignored, succeeding to protecting California together will be quite difficult. But I think we want to work with you to really recognize the change in climate and what it means to our forests and actually work together with that science. That science is going to be key because if we if we ignore that science and sort of put our head in the sand and think it's all about vegetation management, we're not going to succeed together protecting Californians. Now for more updates on the raging wildfires in the U.S. West Coast, Jagrati Dave joins us live from Washington, D.C. Thanks for joining us, Jagrati. Now the Oregon and California states are witnessing unprecedented wildfires and more than 3.3 million acres of land has been charred in California, while Oregon is preparing for a potential mass fatality incident. And yet till now, the U.S. president was largely silent on the topic. And now it seems, while both Biden and Trump have addressed the fires, there seems to be a denial from Trump about the true cause of these fires, that is climate change. So tell us more about this. Yes, as you say, um, the president has been silent, um, but clearly the devastation on the West Coast is really too large to ignore. I mean, some of the pictures that we've been seeing of just the damage that's been caused, you've seen the orange hue to the sky, you've seen scorched earth, acres and acres, acres of land just decimated right. because of these wildfires that have been described as historic and the scenes along the west coast have been described as apocalyptic and the president who is known to be a climate change skeptic has said many times that these sorts of fires and these fires in particular that are happening right now as a result of forest mismanagement um, but lawmakers um, in Though in the on the West Coast and Joe Biden, his rival for the presidency from the Democratic Party, are all saying that climate change is a factor and it has to be acknowledged. Um, that the Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, has been saying that the summers are getting hotter, the hotter periods are getting hotter and it's getting drier. And this is due to climate change. And that has to be acknowledged, despite he also said, as you pointed out and played, you know, that uh, he acknowledged that management of forests in the area could be better uh, handled. But 
it's a mixture of both of these elements and other elements uh, as to why these fires are quite so devastating and climate change cannot be ignored is what he and other people are saying. Right. Now, another very important question that arises is that will the wildfires also become a rallying point in the run-up to the elections as both these presidential candidates are taking quite different approaches in addressing the situation? Well, the issue of climate change has really come to the forefront as a result of these wildfires. As you say, both candidates out uh, talking about what's happening. And really what you're seeing is you've, you're seeing livelihoods destroyed, people's farms, people's homes, people's businesses, people's properties completely destroyed. Hundreds of thousands of people having to flee their homes. So climate change isn't, isn't this sort of abstract idea anymore for people on the West Coast and what the, there have been been saying for a while on the West Coast is that it, climate change hasn't been an abstract idea for a long time for people there. It is a it is an issue that affects people's lives in right. devastating ways, as we've seen. And so clearly this is why it's become a talking point for both campaigns. Um, and, uh, you know, President Trump has gone to be briefed on the crisis there that's happening there. Um, Joe Biden, his rival, has been talking about the crisis. And his argument is that whilst President Donald Trump isn't responsible personally for mm -hmm. the fires, his disregard of the science of climate change means that if he's elected to a second term, he's not necessarily going to solve the problem. So this is an argument that many of the president's critics have deployed. Um, when they've criticised his handling of the pandemic, saying that he's ignoring the science and therefore that's a reason why he shouldn't be given a second term in office. Right. Now, finally, tell us a little bit about the containment efforts and the resources needed on the West Coast to get the situation under control. What lies ahead? Well, a lot of people are really concerned about the situation on the West Coast, suggesting that, you know, the dry conditions and high winds might make it quite hard for firefighters to do their jobs. They're tackling some extreme conditions. You're hearing about things like fire tornadoes that have right. been very rare in the past, but that we're seeing more and more of on the West Coast. And the air quality in many parts of the West Coast is absolutely terrible. So these are the conditions that they're looking at, and it's really unclear clear um, how long this is going to go on for um, and how, what it's going to take for uh, the situation to get under control. Right. All right, Jagati, thank you so much for joining us this morning and for all your inputs on this story. We'll be tracking all the containment efforts closely on wheel.